question 11 we're being asked about uh, which trigonometric function we would use that has an input of the angle measure, so that's theta in radians, sweeping out counterclockwise from the 3 o'clock position. So that's starting here. It has an output of the vertical distance. Vertical distance, either up or down, is measured by the, the y coordinate. So remember, um, the y coordinate is equal to r sine theta. Now, if it's the uh, now if they want it in radius length, that's if uh, whatever the radius is not one. If you want it just in term of radius length, then it's just the sine theta itself. <coughs> in terms of that, so that's eleven. Um, just so, you know, so you think through both of them, if it was the horizontal distance, right, or the right distance to the right. That's going to be the cosine. And again, if we want it in terms of measurement, uh, like inches as such would be r cosine, but in terms of radius length, how many radiuses, it's cosine theta. And then the last one, just to kind of get it all in here, if we want the slope of the ray, say like this right here, if we wanted its slope, this one would be negative, obviously. Um, that's going to give us the tangent. The tangent of that angle gives us the slope of the ray. Yeah, and that's 11. <clears throat> 